All right, so we're going to be working with keyframes. So we can see already in our timeline that there are a bunch of keyframes here. Um, in the template, uh, there are navigation suggestions uh, for people to use the keyframes. Um, so keyframes are kind of, it's always it's always kind of uh, hit and miss between every application. I actually think Krita deals with this, uh, considering that it's a raster-based oriented animation program. Um, I, I feel like it deals with it actually not too bad, pretty well. Um, so you can see here, like if we want to create a keyframe, you can see all the keys that I've um, mapped here. Uh, so yeah, you can say insert keyframe to the left or to the right. Um, I usually always work from left to right. Uh, and uh, for me personally, like I have this map just to right. So then that way I am not really having to concentrate on my mapping left and my mapping right. I only have to remember the one keyframe. So kind of the less I have to remember, the more I can concentrate on animation, then the better. Um, and then we have remove and pull keyframes. Uh, these are super, super handy. Okay. Um, and then we can see some other hotkeys up here that are mapped. So one, two, three, and then we can see four here for inserting multiple keyframes as well. Okay. Um, then we've got our insert and hold keyframes. So this is basically the ability to put a keyframe on one or two. Um, so basically in that regard, it means that you can hammer through the timeline uh, really, really quickly. Okay. So uh, I'll leave this one for I'll leave this one here. Basically, that's just showing you the menu for accessing the keyframes and how you can manipulate them. In the next one, we'll dive in a little bit deeper and we'll show you how it all works together in action. Okay, thanks.